If you edit once every few months, you wouldn't notice it. But as soon as you make even one video a week, you quickly get tired of repetitive stuff that you need to do every time. Of course, you dig around and you'll find amazing plugins and presets. Some paid, some free. I'm not against them. They're helpful. But what if you wanted to do your own presets? Let's go for a title preset first. Drag and drop a text plus in the timeline. This is the Fusion based text, so we need that one. Then open it in Fusion through this Fusion button in the inspector. Here we can make all of our adjustments. For example, I want to have it right on and scale up slowly. Choose fonts and stuff. Basically do something that you would like. By the way, these adjustments can be done in the Edit tab. But now for this next part, it's crucial that you're in the Fusion tab. Right click on the template node and choose save as. Make sure that is a dot settings file and save it to your desktop. Why the desktop? Well, we just need it somewhere easy to find. You can save it anywhere. Then go to the effects panel in fusion and right click on templates and then show it in folder. Here we need to navigate to the titles folder and I would simply create a titles folder like for example, Mario titles and drop it here. Now, if we look at the effects panel, we can find our very own preset. If it doesn't show, just simply restart Resolve. Now let's jump into something that's frequently used like zoom in, zoom out and other camera movements. Place a good old PNG file in the timeline. You don't need to use just a PNG, you can use a video file as well. Go to Fusion and add the transform effect. Go to the first frame and set a keyframe for scale, then go 12 frames forward. That's a personal preference. Bump up the scale a bit. By default, it will zoom in in the middle as that's where the pivot point is. We will allow adjustments to that so that in our preset, we can change it to zooming in somewhere else. It will make sense in a second. Open up the spline panel, check this transform box so we can see the keyframes locate them from the zoom to fit button and then highlight them both from that key here. Then either press F on the keyboard or this button to smooth them out. I like to fine tune this just a tiny bit. Also, it's not a bad idea to add motion blur. To save it as a preset, we need to right click and hit on macro. Here, we can choose what options will be available in the inspector. Once we add this custom effect to our clips, make sure to check the pivot, name it appropriately and click on these three dots. Here again, save it as a dot settings file. This time we will add it to the effect folder and I'll again create custom effects folder and then a subfolder zoom ins. Now let's drag and drop it to a video and voila. But wait, there's more. If we cut the clip and try to add the zoom in, we are just zoomed in. Work around this by making the clip you are adding the effect to a fusion clip. I'll keep you posted on that if I found out why this is and how to fix it. But if you know, drop a comment. Now let's see how we can make something just a little bit complicated. Or in other words, if you want to use more than one node. Go back to the PNG file, open it in Fusion. This time we will add a blur node and set a keyframe to that blurriness. Then we will duplicate the media in node and connect it after the blur node via the merge node. Then add a transform node right here between the two nodes. Set a keyframe for scaling. Then in the merge, keyframe the blend in from zero to one. Now to make all of this a single preset, we will first group all the nodes. The process here is like the text one. We have to save it as a dot setting file and then add it to our specific folder. And here is the result. And don't forget, we have scaling animation. Some clips need to be turned into a fusion clip. And there you have it. I hope it was helpful and maybe you learned something new. Like and share to support the video, subscribe to support the channel. And speaking of support, support all of the creators with the amazing presets too. I don't have my own yet. Also check Recut, which is this amazing app for auto removing silences from your videos. More in the description down below.